Hi guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Console, and I wanted to show you this cool trick that's been around for a little bit, but not many people either know about it or use it, and I wanna show you how I use it in my personal business. Uh, so this is uh, listing checklist updates, or opportunity checklist updates. Uh, and what this is, uh, is you're able to send a daily update of what you've done with that specific opportunity or transaction. So for this example, I'm going to use it on a real live listing I have currently um, here in the Reno Sparks, Nevada area. Uh, and so sending this out to a client and you can see it'll say the address uh, here at the top. Now this is if I, and I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I get the address and picture of the house to pop up on here. And then it'll say what you've done for that specific transaction. So. She, so this seller knows that I sent an email list out to my investors. I put I just listed on Facebook. I did it on all the other social media platforms as well and created a landing page for that property. So I can choose what this goes on here. So let's go and put out there exactly what, um, how we've created this email that can go out on a daily basis uh, to your client. So let's hop into command and we're gonna go into opportunities. I'm gonna go into a specific opportunity that's created. Uh, so you have an opportunity that's created and you can hop in right here uh, once you have an opportunity created we've got mickey and minnie selling their house here and uh in this uh i've already connected it to a listing now if you have not connected it to a listing you're going to see an option right there select from listings so if it's active on the mls you will be able to select that i highly encourage you if it is on the mls you do it this way if you can select from the listing that is what's going to get you in your email for it to automatically add a photo of the home otherwise it won't have a picture of that specific property on that email uh, but if you do uh, at minimum just make sure the address is in here under that property and you can enter in the address in that area here that's the good starting point for that listing if you're doing an update for that listing once you've got that part all taken care of and you're updating the listing this by the way this can be done on the buyer side as well if you want to update them of what's happening on the buyer side uh, i use this more primarily on the listing side though uh, because you know what are you doing to market my home sell it they're they're normally especially that beginning portion they're waiting look learning and wanting to see what you're doing uh, to get their home sold so this is my favorite time to use it so what i've got up here and you've probably seen this little uh, task uh, list option before and by default you're not going to have any options in there it's probably going to say zero out of zero now if you've built a uh, checklist template and had it up there you might already have some in here I already had some in here so you can see that we have this in here and I've done uh, as you can see five out of the six items I have not sent 100 postcards to the neighbors yet now for those that haven't had a checklist item uh, put in here before you can just in, add it manually as well so if you wanted to get started you can hit this add item and you could just say let's just put ran Facebook ad to feeder whoops markets of San Francisco the Bay Area is a big feeder market for the Reno area here so uh, I uh, relay that to my clients uh, and let them know so I put that now here's the important part to make sure that they're gonna get this update you've got to have this client update box checked when you create this once you hit save that's gonna pop in there and you can see that client update box is checked so if that is checked on this list when I check this off that's going to trigger it so that next day that the it's uh, the next time that that designated time you choose comes up you'll be able to this is going to show up on the list so for example my update already went out for today so this is going to go out for tomorrow's update that we ran this ad uh, so it's a great way to uh, let your uh, clients know what you're doing during that transaction so then that way in between those update calls that you do whether you do an update call a week or a couple times a week whatever it is they just can know without you having to call them every single day uh, with an update you know you're getting these items checked off for them uh, so I love just putting good information in there updating them what's happening you know we had follow-up with four showings from yesterday something like that um, so you can get really clever and decide what you want to share with your clients 
it will only send them the updates if that box is checked for that specific item. If there's something you don't want them to see, you don't have to have that item checked. So let's just say I don't want them to see I'm sending 100 postcards out. I would have that unchecked and so when I check this off, they will not get an update. Now, you can see that client updates is turned on. By default, all these are turned off. So even if you, uh, if this is off up here but you have these checked off, if I select these, these aren't going to go out if that was set off. So by default, like I said, these are off. How do you turn them on? Well, within an opportunity, specific opportunity in itself, you can just go over here to client updates, select that, and you can toggle this from off to on, and you'll see it here, and you can select a time that you want it to go out. Uh, I'm in Pacific time, so you're gonna see, uh, I believe this does change by the time zone you're in, uh, I believe, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but once you go in there, you can be able to select what time you want that to go out. So I normally like the morning time frame. Uh, that way everything I've done for that day just um, gets sent out or at the end of the day are my two favorite times if you're going to do it as suggested. It's gonna give you the opportunity to send it to uh, your seller. Uh, if there is a co-seller, you can uh, add them on here as well. And if you'd like, I like to have it sent to myself as well so I can see what it looks like. Uh, if you had other more questions on client updates, you can just select that little button right there. And the cool thing is it has a little article uh, of how to do it and some little tips and stuff uh, in regards to seeing what that looks like, setting times uh, and things as well. So I re highly recommend checking that out as well. Uh, and if you want, you can actually create checklist items for a pipeline so that those items pop up every single on every single transaction or opportunity you have. There is an article in answers.kw.com. I will link this link in the, uh, in the description box below so you can check it out. Uh, so this is client updates through opportunities, a really under light, uh, underutilized feature uh, that I think you guys should check out and a great way to keep your sellers updated with listing times going, uh, days on market lasting a little bit longer. Sellers are gonna be wondering what you're doing to get their home sold. It's a great, great little add-on to keep them uh, in communication with you. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions or want to watch any of my other videos and training, you can always go to my website, commandconsult.com, and there is a video tab right there to watch all of my training videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.